fact, counting double digit thousands. Facts. Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy Russ back again with some more Madden 18 career mode. Welcome back, man. I really appreciate you guys watching this series. For those of you that do, obviously I know it's not the thing that gets a ton of views. I understand that, but I'm having a lot of fun actually playing this game right now, being the fact that I can't really play online because my internet is complete garbage right now. Um, but anyway, man, you know, career mode, if you, if you take it at face value and you understand how it is, it's not bad, man. You know, obviously, it doesn't go too in-depth, but, you know, it's pretty fun. You guys can see right now, um, well, first of all, I showed you guys my stats for the season, and we got to cut down on those interceptions, man, for real. We have four touchdowns to ten picks, which is terrible. You know, I already knew we were going to throw a ton of picks because I knew I was going to throw a bunch of bad reads because we don't have speed. You know, we got to make a ton of bad reads. Probably going to throw a bunch of picks. Wouldn't surprise me if we had over 20 interceptions in a season, just as long as we have a lot of touchdowns to go along with that and our team wins but right now you guys can see we're three and two going against the 0 and 5 bears in week number six i did change my number to number 13 lucky number 13 still have my name is larry goats and still trying to think if i want to change that um obviously this guy isn't based off of me but um last week i performance 11 completions and three picks and just over 200 yards is not enough to cut it for us man we gotta do a lot better than that but um yeah i was thinking about changing his name i have an idea of what i want to change it to it's not anything crazy it's just something that I think would just, I don't know, make it a lot easier for my, I don't know, just like calling my character something easy than, you know, a random ass name. You know, I think it'll be something easy for me to use in every single game. Um, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to change the name or not. I'm not sure. Second and 14, you guys can see we are into this game right now. And we're not starting off that great. Well, we're three for three, but, you know, this is our first drive. And uh, um, now we're in third and 11. And, of course, we end up getting sacked for a second time on that drive. As um, Unfortunately, we have to, you know, give the ball up. So, I don't know what happened, but I guess there was a fake field goal. I don't know what that was. We got the ball back. I, I really don't know what happened. I, I guess we got sacked at a field goal range, and then we punted. I don't know what happened right there, man. But you know what? Bottom line, we're up 7 nothing. That's really all that matters. So up 7 nothing. We do hit Brashad Perryman down to the one-yard line, man. Brashad Perryman has been an absolute monster. And right here, Jeremy Macklin, another one of our star receivers, shows up and gets us a touchdown in the back of the end zone to put us up 14 to nothing in this game with just over, well, actually, uh, about 40 seconds over two, two minutes left. I almost said just over two minutes. I'm retarded. First and 10, we looking and we getting sacked again, man. I don't know how, but we get sacked so many times, and there's so much pressure throughout each game. Is right here we chuck up a absolute prayer, and um, my guy just he doesn't have the the arm strength, the throw power to get that ball all the way down there. But right here we're still at 14 nothing, as these guys can just not put any sort of points on the board. Obviously, Mitchell Trubisky is just not able to get it done um, for the Bears offense. But again, up 14 nothing right now. Second and 15 from the three, another incomplete pass. Um, in the second quarter, 75 pass yards is not that good, especially with how much we have been throwing in this game. Just missing every single throw. Um, but right there, I don't know what happened. We all of a sudden just like, um, I think that was third down, and it was completely out of bounds, and then we ended up getting the ball back. I don't know if our defense got a very quick stop, but we got it back. Um, so 11 seconds left now in the second quarter, and we're chucking it up with a lot of weird lag. I don't know what the fuck that was. But bottom line, Jeremy Macklin ends up coming up with the catch to put us up in this game 21 to nothing, man. We are doing very, very well. Um, obviously, we haven't had the greatest performance, but, you know, we're doing enough right now, man. We're doing enough. I'm not sure what our stats are looking like, but I remember playing this game. I didn't feel like I had played that great. I felt like we kind of got bailed out, and the fact that we're playing the Bears the 0-5 Bears at that, so I mean, obviously, we're not going against the toughest of opponents, so hopefully, we, you know, we can at least take care of business in this one and get our record, you know, to a, a very safe 4-2. and two. You know, right now, we're tied with the Cleveland Browns for first in the division. Of course, we want to widen that. We want to get in first place, and of course, we want to win that division. So you guys see right now, we are on the four-yard line on that drive just before. We ended up being just short of the first down. I'm going to start to put, like, little uh, transition slides just so you guys know, um you know, the end of one drive and the start of the other, because I know it's kind of weird going from one drive to the other and it just being a single cut. I've been good at doing that, like right there, um, but sometimes I forget, so that's my bad. We ended up throwing another interception, and that's our second interception of the game, and I want to be throwing no interceptions. I want to be throwing zero, man. We're just not doing that. You know, we got to cut back on the interceptions. It's just me not having a ton of speed, so, you know, when I get that pressure, I'm not really able to escape, and, you know, I, I make it a lot of 
questionable reads but right here 21 to 7 the Bears finally get on the board but it might be too little too late as there was only two minutes and 30 seconds left in this game so second and 20 turns into third and 20 as we're looking all the way down the field just running a bunch of basically just long post routes and we end up actually taking off for the first time in this game or not first time th that's such a third time I must have not showed um, either the previous rushes or they must have not been that exciting um, but we are up 21 to 14 now as the Bears, you know, they get closer, man. They're getting closer and closer. 21 to 14, but a minute 30 left in this game. You guys can see they're using their timeouts, and in comes Terrence West to try to, you know, shut this game out and get us this dub. Is right here, second and seven. Terrence West falls down, man. He stumbled and fell down. We actually had an easy first down with him right here. Danny Woodhead though does get the first down, and that is actually going to be the first down that ends this game. So a little bit of a scare at the end of the game, but you know what? I end up getting cocky, and, you know, <laughs> when you get cocky, sometimes good things happen. As we chuck it up with no time left on the clock, and Jeremy Macklin just ends up killing it. Jeremy Macklin played like a beast in this game, and we had four touchdowns in this game. This could be our breakout game, could be considered our breakout game, man. It was a hell of a game. Jeremy Macklin had his best game of the season by far in this game so we do end up taking care of the bears 28 to 14 i did hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys can go ahead and look at the stats you know this little post game thing if you want um but other than that i did hope you guys enjoyed and as always dangerous army i'm out Like a hell cut.